you already know that the money is in the list, but you're probably not growing your email list as quickly or effectively as you could be. And up until now, it's taken days or even weeks to build out all the little bits and pieces you need to truly grow your email list. Well, today, with the help of ChatGPT AI, you're going to see that it's actually really easy to build out all of those bits and pieces so you can focus in on list building without wasting a bunch of time and without distracting yourself from your traffic generation side of your business. And it's super important for you to build your email list because that's the only asset that you actually own. It's how you prevent yourself from getting a Google slap and disappearing from the search engine rankings. It's how you prevent yourself from some greedy corporation just deciding or user behavior changing. And all of a sudden you just don't have an audience anymore because you were building on rented land. So you need to build that asset that is your email list. And let's jump in and talk about what we're going to do here today. So we're going to build out three things and we're going to use the chat GPT AI to build out these three things. Number one, one is your lead magnet, number two is the email follow-up series, and number three is the landing page copy, which could also work as like pop-up copy. If you've got a bunch of traffic coming to your blog from Google already, you would use a pop-up instead of a dedicated landing page. Um, I teach how to actually build out those pieces in all of the videos linked down below. In this video, we're going to get AI to generate the content that you put inside of each one of those pieces. And of course, we're going to use my favorite uh, AI tool. You can get access to it and try it for free at milesbeckler.com forward slash try. And here we are. So when you're at the milesbeckler.com forward slash try, you're going to see that you have a chat window. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to chat back and forth with it. Now, the method I prefer for you to use, whether it's your first list building adventure, or whether you're building out a split test to test against what you're already doing is test out a five-day boot camp. Now, this could be in any niche. You could do a five-day boot camp to the law of attraction. You could do a five-day boot camp for uh, how to meditate, for how to crochet, how to trade Forex or trade cryptocurrencies, how to affiliate marketing. This literally works in every single niche market. What I'm going to focus on is weight loss real quick, just for this one, just to kind of get in and get these ideas moving forward. Now, I'm not a weight loss expert. Uh, I would obviously be working in a niche that I am an expert in, but I don't want you to just hear me talking about internet marketing since that's kind of what I do because that's a little bit too meta and a little too repetitive. So I'm going to prompt this thing and we'll come back and discuss as it generates the content for us. Okay. I'm going to leave this prompt wide open and we're going to see what we get from this generic prompt. So design a five day weight loss boot camp to help someone get on the path of losing weight fast and enter and it begins. Now, how you prompt an AI is one of the keys to what you get back. So some people are like, oh, I just get back generic stuff or it's always repeating itself. And that means you probably have a very narrow prompt. And the more you open up the prompt, the more that you, or the more specific you make the prompt, uh, the more specific and the better details you can get back. So what I like to look at here is essentially just what is it generating right off the start? So day one, uh, morning, start the day with a glass of warm water, mid morning, 30 minute break, lunch, have a salad, lean protein, afternoon, high intensity workout for 20 minutes, dinner, grilled, baked, lean, chicken, fish. Perfect. So what I could now do, if I want to run with this, I could just take this concept and build it out. So day one email essentially would be these things. And what I would do, so take a 30 minute brisk walk or jog to get the heart rate up. That's easy. Lunch, I would add in either a shopping list or I would go find or create a recipe, add in a recipe. Afternoon, try a high intensity interval training workout for 20 to 30 minutes. I would go find a video for this. Now, do I have to create the video for this? Absolutely not. I could go find a wonderful YouTube video that teaches this. Is it better branding for me as a creator? creator if it's my video? Obviously, yes. And you could replace this and work in the content that you've been creating, but don't think that you have to create all of the bits and pieces for this. So then day two, it's got the same kind of ideas. Perfect. So this is a decent enough. It didn't finish day five. So uh, please continue uh, finishing day four and right out day five. So I don't know if it... Um, ran out of text. There's a certain amount of text that it could prompt at one time. So sometimes, and this is how the game works, right? You got to work with it a little bit here and there. Um, additional tips. Remember, it's a five-day kickstart. So perfect. So this is very technical and tactical getting into the weeds. So what I'm going to ask it to do right now is to write me an introduction email for this. And I like to be very nice and polite with the AI because who knows, maybe AI will end up running the world at some point. So I say please and thank you to my AI when I work with it. Do what you want on your end. So I said, thanks. Now please write an introduction email for this five-day boot camp to set their expectations. 
Uh, so what you can do on this email, if you're running a double opt-in, which I don't necessarily recommend, you can use this as your double opt-in email that has the confirmation in it. The other option you could do is you could have, you could write an email, like you could have it write this introduction email, use a single opt-in, and then you have it write day one, and you essentially do a mashup between these two. And it's easier to kind of prompt it one by one for an introduction. So um, are you ready to kick your weight? Kickstart your weight loss journey. Our five day weight loss boot camp is designed to help you jumpstart your metabolism, burn calories, and lose weight fast. It's for anyone who wants to lose weight quickly and safely. Perfect. I love it. Good enough. So now please write email number one. And there's the first one. Now it looks like it's got the kind of intro text in here. So I could probably run with that there exactly. Um, I mean, this is it, like like this email. So again, am I going to go copy this and paste it exactly as is, and that's like what I'm going to run for my audience? No, I'm going to add human touches. I'm going to change. I'm going to add line breaks. I'm going to make it shorter paragraphs. I'm going to link to resources to the different uh, spe super specific uh, like recipes and or workouts that I think will help them, whether they're my recipes and workouts or not. You can build all of this out, linking to outside resources to get into motion quickly, and then on your content calendar for the next month, go create those pieces of content that are inside of your follow-up sequence and build it out. But right here, we've already got on the path and I'm not going to go have it create all of the emails. You obviously know that you just ask it and be polite if you want, uh, ask it to write day two's email, days three email, and then you go put that inside of your autoresponder. Now I have other videos. I've got 700 videos on this channel that teach everything on how to build this out tactically. I will link to the most relevant videos if you don't have your email autoresponder set up yet. If you're not on one of the great free email autoresponder tools that will allow you to kind of build this up and, and start running at zero dollars out of pocket, I'll link to all of that so you know how to go add this content inside of your email autoresponder. But we've already crossed two of these things off of our list. Now the next one is we need to get the opt-in page copy or the pop-up copy. And again, my template for building out your opt-in page, that's below in the links below. But essentially what you need is a headline is the most important part. And then maybe three bullet points, right? Depending on if you're doing a full opt-in page or not. So let's ask it to write us 10 separate compelling headlines to promote this bootcamp that we just created. And let's see what it comes up with. So I wrote, great, please write out 10 compelling headlines that will persuade my website visitors to take the leap and get started with a five day boot camp. And it says, sure, here's 10. So lose weight fast with our 10, with our five day weight loss boot camp. Get in shape in just five days. Transform your body in just one week. I like that one. Uh, join our five day, ready to lose weight fast. I like the question and answer style. Get fit and healthy. Uh, so let's do this here. So uh, come up with 10 clever names for my five day boot camp. So I'm, I'm now wanting it to come up with different names. Ah, the fast fit five day boot camp. I love that. Uh, slim in five, five days to a better you, five day. Fi okay. So I, I like this better than the other one. So now what I would personally do is I would kind of do a mashup. So let's say I like this. Um, get in shape in just five days with our customized weight loss plan. So I would do the slim in five get in shape with just five days, right? So I would, I would personally kind of mix and match these because none of these headlines, although I like them and they're, they're focused on the benefits, which is good. They didn't have like a clever, catchy name to them. So I would choose the name that I like best and mix and match it up together. Now, if you're into split testing, if you're advanced, like what a great opportunity for you to get a bunch of different headlines and a bunch of different kind of hooks that you can go test quickly. If you've got traffic and if you've got things already built out, right? This is, this is testing the kind of uh, mass consciousness brain which is ultimately AI at this point in time. So then I'm going to ask it to, to write some bullet points for our opt-in page. If you're just doing a pop-up, like this is enough content to get your pop-up going. So let me ask it to generate some bullet points. So this prompt I got a little wordy on. So I said, great, now write 10 persuasive bullet points that will help promote the course. Focus on the time savings they'll experience with our done for you recipes. Help them understand how much faster they'll get results with our proven workout exercises, plus the accountability of being a part of a community that'll help them actually get results when everything else they've tried has failed. These are basic copywriting ideas, right? This is, I'm not, I'm not writing super compelling stuff, but I know they want to save time. They want to get results and they've tried other things and the other things didn't work. So I'm adding 
those little pieces I know about this customer avatar in, and now I have the actual bullet points that I could build out. So right here, get faster results with our proven workout routines and exercises that are designed to burn calories and tone your muscles, right? Join a supportive community of like-minded individuals. Obviously, I would make sure I had some sort of a Facebook group or something if I'm promising community. Um, this is one of the things with AI. You got to fact check it. You got to make sure what it's saying is what you're delivering, right? Again, we're not just bulk generating content and plugging it in and sending it away without being an actual human, we're trying to leverage this technology to quickly help us get those key core pieces we need so we can go put them in the right place and and you know make them ours and then get moving so get the motivation you need to succeed with our supportive community i guarantee you there's a lot of people who find that motivation is their big problem when it comes to working oh i'm not motivated perfect right the ai focused me in on this um enjoy delicious and healthy meals that are easy to prepare get expert guidance from support from our team of experienced trainers and nutritionists uh, whether that's true or not say goodbye to fa fad diets unstable weight loss methods our boot camp focuses on healthy sustainable habits that perfect I love that one this is it like that's it and right there in a matter of minutes here we have generated everything that you need to start really truly focusing in on the biggest thing that'll move your business forward which is growing your email list now if you're writing all this stuff out and you build your landing page and then you need to run some Facebook ads I mean let's just go there I wasn't planning on doing this I'm like okay cool so thanks so now I can ask it to write the, the Facebook ads, right? So one of the things you got to do when you're in, in the world of Facebook ads is you, you maybe don't want to, to promise specific results on this, right? That's something Facebook uh, frowns upon. Uh, you don't want to uh, like accidentally fat shame anyone or you don't want to use any personally identifying attributes. So if they, if they say, um, you know, tired of being fat, like Facebook would absolutely slap your account. And this is what I mean. Like, like the AI doesn't know where the line is on Facebook ads. So you need to bring that knowledge here. And I've discussed at length how to run Facebook ads successfully here on the course. And obviously Facebook has their own ads policies and procedures that you would read. So I'm not going to like grab one of these and run it immediately, but I'm just trying to show you how powerful this is in the process of building out your actual sales funnel, right? An actual real email sales funnel. You can get it all done top to bottom in hours instead of days or weeks if you had to write this out yourself. And these prompts, like the output from the AI, is probably going to be better than you are if you're new to the world of copywriting because it's gone and it's studied all of the persuasive copy online and we get to kind of ping it in a way to get it to feed us. So uh, join our five-day boot camp and get faster results for your body. See, it doesn't, it's not perfect. Tired of slow progress and fad diets that don't work. Join our five-day boot camp. Get proven workout routines. Exercises will help you burn calories and tone your muscles fast. Plus, enjoy delicious, healthy meals that are easy to prepare. Sign up now and see the results for yourself. We're on the path. If you need to tweak a couple of words because you think it's a little too close to those personal identifiers in the Facebook ads, great, do that. But I just wanted you to see how powerful this all is in essentially in the ability to help you grow your list, which is the number one asset in your business. Um, if you want to give it a shot, if you haven't tried the tool, go to milesbeckler.com forward slash try. This is the tool that I use. I'm in this thing every single day. I'm generating blog posts with it with a long form writer tool that's also included if you do sign up or if you already Already have signed up. I'm using this for, for research, for creating uh, emails, subject lines, ads, all kinds of different things. The, the, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope this has been helpful for you. If it is, give me a thumbs up on the video. I appreciate you. And I hope that you just keep moving forward, building out all of those true things that move your business forward, create lots of great content that's helpful and useful for your audience. That's going to attract an audience to you and then promote your lead magnet in order to get them on your email list and then follow up with a great great email series. And from there, you're into real business mode. That's when you get to start promoting things via email. And that's when you really start to see the money because again, the money is in the list. So let's keep focused on the things that bring home the bacon, shall we? All right. I've chatted enough here. I hope this has been helpful. I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until then, be well.